If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn. Education. Right? Let's go. I'm Quindell Evans, bluepoetry.com. Blue is the color of dream, imagination, and everything in between. Poet is the already inscribed with the power to open the eye. Tree is the seed that branches off and leaves and grows wherever it goes. Bluepoetry.com. So, welcome to the Blue Poetry Podcast, you feel me? Where we discuss, we discuss the habits that it takes to create a successful life, and also the habits that it takes to overcome and break through a stressful life, you feel me them? Because we want to create a successful life. We want to always be successful. As a matter of fact, we recite affirmations on the Blue Poetry Podcast, so it's my duty to say that I am successful. I am a man of a successful life, you feel me them? And we want to overcome a stressful life. Everybody got some stuff that's stressing you out. Everybody gonna go through some things, you feel me them? And if somebody went through something and they ain't going through it and they overcame it, then that means you could do the same thing, you feel me them? So that's what we talk about on the Blue Poetry Podcast. How to create a successful life and how to overcome a stressful life. On this version of the podcast though, this is the airs version, you feel me? Because you gotta listen. Use your Ears. On the Ears version of the podcast, Ears is an acronym for explanation and reason for my songs. E, explanation, A, and R, reasons, songs. Explanation and reasoning for my songs. The Ears version of the podcast, you feel me? And on this day, on this podcast, I'm going to explain the reason for why I wrote the song, If She Finds. Track number seven on the B-side of... My first project called Give Them More. All right, so I got the lyrics right here, and I'm going to break it down to you about why I wrote each line, why I wrote the song, you feel me? And it's called If She Finds. You feel me? Then? But before we get there, let's say the pledge. The affirmation pledge is what I like to call it because it's a whole bunch of affirmations to me. And it goes like this. I want to be what I can be, to be proud, healthy and free. I want to say what I know to help my brothers and sisters grow. I want to feel good about me and blame no one for my misery because I'll be strong and turn it around. I want to go up, I'm not going down. I want to do what I can do to make all my dreams come true. Remember my past, the good and bad, how I made it art. Even when it was sad, I want to share whatever my gift. And when you're feeling low, I give you a lift. I want to live without fear and know that I'm blessed for being here. You know that you're blessed for being here. Just know that we're blessed for being here. You know that we're blessed. All right, then. So that's the affirmation pledge by Abiyo Doom Oye Wole, the creator and founder of The Last Poets. You feel me, them? Now, on to the song, If She Finds Out. You feel me then? Well, it's called If She Finds, but the chorus is If She Finds Out, because that's what the song is about. You know, you this song, I wrote it, let me just give you a synopsis. I wrote the song, If She Finds Out, in 2015, off a beat by my man, Real Chris. Um, and it's kind of a, a, a relationship song, you know, about you with somebody, you hope they don't find out that you got somebody on the side. But... The um, but it's a metaphor. She doesn't find out that the somebody is actually music. So the song is really not even about cheating on someone, but it's about choosing a certain lifestyle over being with someone. You feel me? And I wrote this song specifically because I was with someone who was like, you know, hating on my dreams. You know, it was like, ah, oh, you can't make no money off of being no poet. Blah blah blah. So it's like kind of a way for me to express myself. You know, letting letting her know, like, I choose my dreams over you, you feel me? So if she finds out that I'm choosing music over her, she's going to be tight. And that's what eventually happened. So the the song, the first line of the song starts off, but, like, I used to, I still do, but I used to do a lot of songs, but, like, poetry and singing at the same time, you know? So it goes, eh, all the times that's mine was hers. She wouldn't have time trying to find reasons to stay and not to run out. You feel me? Like, if she finds out. So I'm singing if she finds out with poetry in the middle. So if she finds out that all the time that's mine was hers, she wouldn't have time trying to find reasons for reasons to stay or not to run out. You feel me? 
And that's what, this is me like reflecting on the fact that like, I don't give her all of my time. I spend a lot of my time pursuing my art. And this is how I've always been, period. Like, I put my dreams first, you know. By the way, I'm doing an uh, open mic called Dreams First. Open mic this Thursday, so pop out to Word of Cafe Thursday, March 14th. Put the dreams first, you feel me? That's what we about, put dreams first, you feel me? And if you find someone that allows you to put your dreams first and pushes you, you know, to, to pursue your dreams, that's how you know it's the one, you feel me? Well, that's how I feel if you're a dreamer. That's for my dreamers out there. If you ain't a dreamer, you ain't got no dreams, don't apply to you. Put your woman first. <laughs> Put your partner first. But anyways, if she finds out a blunt enough reason to stay, I'll match her time alone with my times out. And we'll practice and run plays, create ways to play together because I need to get better. So, you know, that's like a little poem that I use to like start the song, you know, I like to start my, I used to love to start my songs with poems, you know, half poem, half song type vibe, you know, so if she finds a blunt enough reason to stay, I'll match her time alone with my time out. So like, it's like a play on words, a metaphor, if she find a blunt enough reason, so a blunt, like you're smoking a blunt, I'll match her time alone, like I'll match her blunt, you feel me, so we could light up together, you feel me, so that's like a metaphor of us like matching each other's energy. You know, I match her time alone with my time out and we'll practice and run plays. So that's another metaphor between, you know, a metaphor of sports. I match her time alone with my time outs. You feel me? And we'll practice and run plays, create ways to play together because I need to get better. You know, like teamwork make the dream work. You feel me? This song is about pursuing a dream. You feel me? So, you know, it's, it's I don't want to pursue my dreams alone. I want somebody I can pursue my dreams with. So let's create plays and ways to work together, you feel me? Let's let's do this together. So that's what that's what the beginning of the intro of the song is is saying. And then I then the chorus is if she finds out how I do what I do. Matter of fact, it don't even go into that. It actually if she finds how, how I move. So this is like me, like if she don't even know I'm on a different time and I'm not on her timing. And then I say, if she finds out how I move, I'll lose her. And then that's when it goes into, if she finds out how I do what I do, I'll be through. If she finds out how I got to, you know, so I'm letting, so like I'm kind of signaling that I got two things or people or two, you know, two things that I'm pursuing, two people that I'm pursuing, but it's really like, you know, like, I'm in love with her, but I'm also in love with pursuing my dreams, you feel me? So if she finds out how I got two, then I'll lose her, you know? And then I continue singing that. If she finds out how, and then I go into rap. I do what I do. Will she give me another chance to change? I'm still loose. It's life based on choice or chance. I'm confused. So, like, if she finds out, like, that, like, it's dreams first, will she be with it? Like, will she accept me, you feel me? And this is me questioning it because I'm not, I wasn't with accepting the fact that the girl that I'm really feeling wasn't really feeling my dream. She was literally like, yo, you not making no money on poetry. You wasting your time, get a job. She was trying to put me on with jobs and all that. She got me interviews and all that. And I wasn't with it, you feel me? I was with the dream. You know, I was with like sacrificing whatever for the dream, you know? So it's like, will she give me another chance of choice? I'm still loose. Like, I'm still on the, I'm still on the run. Like I'm not with all of that, you know. And then I go into is life based on choice or chance? I'm confused. And I ask that question: Is life based on chance or choice? Because I feel like we make choices every day, but it, but they are based on the chances that are presented, the opportunities that are that we are given. You feel me? And I don't think, you know, I don't think there's like a definite answer to that question. For others, but I do think there's a definite answer for that question for me because I, you know, I sometimes overthink and I think so. I think so deep. So like, I feel like life is based on chance. Like it begins with chance, and then choice is the choice is the is the is the fruit that it bears. You know, chance is the seed, and a lot of a lot of times we don't even 
we don't even take advantage of the opportunities and the choices, the chances that are given to us. 